Hey, I recently switched from this metal mouthpiece to this hard rubber one. And I actually think there are some big differences between them, but I thought it would be cool to do a comparison video to see what you think. On the Vigilante Hollywood Studio, the baffle is pretty high. Jody Jazz, the baffle is a lot smoother, a lot more rolled over. Both of these mouthpieces have a 110 tip opening, so that means the Jody Jazz mouthpiece is a size 8. Both mouthpieces have a medium sized chamber. If you look, the Jody Jazz looks like it might be a little bit bigger, but they're actually the same size. So just by looking at these two mouthpieces, I can tell that the Hollywood Studio mouthpiece is supposed to be brighter sounding, it's supposed to be more punchy and more powerful. And by looking at the Jody Jazz HR, I can tell that it's supposed to be warmer, fuller sounding, it's supposed to be darker as well. I'd like to throw in my auto link as well so that we can see a metal mouthpiece that's built to sound warm and full. I really wanna see how much of a difference the material makes versus the shape of the mouthpieces. So let me know what you think. First of all, I wanna know what mouthpiece was your favorite, but also let me know if you think the hard rubber made a big difference versus the metal, or if it was the shape of the mouthpieces that made the biggest difference. So let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more of these mouthpieces in action, I have so many videos on YouTube, so you can watch one of my playlists and you can watch all of these mouthpieces being used on my tenor saxophone. Also, I have a link for each of these mouthpieces in the description, just in case you wanna check out one of them for yourself.